What is up people, Matt here again. So I haven't done a bleached related video in quite a while and I know a, f a few of you came to the channel um, specifically or for my bleach videos so I thought I'd you know try and get back on track and start doing more bleach videos. So more a lot more of my more recent videos have kind of been kind of theories about certain anime and I thought I'd do it with Bleach. So this is going to be kind of a crack theory on what the fate of Ichigo and his family will be at the end of Bleach. So my I have a feeling that the ending of Bleach there'll be a pretty tragic moment but right at the end it will kind of be you know it be happy somehow. So I have a feeling that at the end of Bleach, Ichigo will be forced to stay in the Soul Society. That's what I have a feeling will happen. He'll either be forced to stay in the Soul Society, or he'll choose to stay to stay in the Soul Society of his own free will. Now, as a result of that, I have a feeling Ishin will somehow come back into the fold take over one of the captain positions himself again and he'll you know that'll be his thing he'll be one of the captains again another the, the question is what will happen with Karin and Uzu obviously Ichigo's younger sisters um well if he's if if Ishin goes to the soul site again presumably they're gonna have to go with them they're not gonna be left on their own so, either they'll go with them, which is totally, I think that's totally possible. I know Uzu doesn't really have any spiritual power. Karin got all of it. But I have a feeling they can still go to the Soul Society. I mean, they are, they are the kind of children of a Quincy and a Soul Reaper, or even though Ishin didn't have his powers then. And I don't know why they haven't got Quincy powers exactly yet, but... So that could happen, they could go there with them and they all live in the Soul Society which would work out, I mean Ichigo, all of Ichigo's friends are basically there anyway except for a few of them um, or Uzu and Karin could go live with Orihime in, in, in the real world which is totally possible that's if Orihime and Chad and that don't actually go and live in the Soul Society also um, which would be quite strange Another thing that I didn't really think about until now, and it sound I'm thinking about it, and it sounds kind of really weird, is everyone just goes and lives in the human world, and the like the soul side just like ceases to exist. So literally, all the soul reapers go to the human world, which would be a bit strange, but it could totally happen. And they can do it; they can live in the real world in their gee guy. Um, I'm not sure what would happen if they went out of that Gigi guy if they are just permanently stuck in that Gigi guy forever because if they go out of it they'd technically die because there wouldn't be a soul society but that's another theory I had that I literally only just thought about out of the two I have a feeling that Ichigo staying in the soul society is the most likely one because I don't think he can keep up being a soul reaper only for for a part time I think eventually he'll just have to kind of be a constant soul reaper that's how it's going to go anyway pretty sure I mean a lot of people are saying he'll become a captain and take over which does kind of make sense if he has a drastic personality change I mean he has had a somewhat personality change over the series but I still don't think he's at the point where he would follow orders exactly that's that's the problem that people have with Ichigo they say he's definitely strong enough to be a captain he, he's strong enough to be more than a captain but he hasn't got the discipline to be to be a captain and command a squad really so if he did change like that totally possible another thing is maybe he could become a lieutenant under his dad which would be quite interesting to see um, and then at least he wouldn't really have to command the troops because his dad could do it, but he could just be there to help, which would be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, those were my kind of theories on what the ending of Bleach could be. Um, 
when I said at the beginning he could be forced to stay in the soul society or he chooses, if he's forced, I have a feeling that it could mean he got killed and obviously if you're dead you can't really go to the human world because you'll be in the soul society. Um, and he well, he could go to the real world in a gee guy, but he wouldn't be able to kind of it wouldn't be the same. He'd pretty much kind of he'd be he his main place would be in the soul society again. If he chooses I'm not sure what could make him choose to stay in the soul society besides the fact that he might realise, oh god, you know, if shit goes down again I need to be here when it happens, so I've gotta stay here. So I'm here constantly to, you know, make sure things are alright which makes sense after the most recent stuff um, but yeah that was my theory on what the ending of Bleach could be and the fate of the Kurosaki family uh, specifically uh, as always thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one bye now